Hello, and welcome back. In this episode, we're going to look at the pros and cons of downsizing. So sit back, relax, and let's figure out if downsizing is right for you. A question I get asked all the time is, Sean, do you miss your Africa twin? The short answer is no, but we're going to discuss the long answer and figure out why. When I decided to purchase my Africa twin, I was already into adventure riding. I'd done many adventure rides on smaller bikes like the Yamaha WR250R, Honda's XR650, Suzuki DRZ400 and a very well set up KTM 530. All these bikes had been set up for adventure riding, but I thought I needed something bigger. Hell, I even built my own adventure bike at one stage. If you are already considering downsizing, I'm going to guess there's something about your current bigger bike that you're not exactly happy with. I went through the same thing with my Africa Twin, and the main concern for me was weight. Big bikes are great, but they do have their advantages and disadvantages. Let's have a look at those. So some of the advantages are, they're more stable at speed, they have more power for overtaking, and they're able to carry a heavier loads with less effect on handling. Some of the disadvantages though, especially off-road, they're harder to get unstuck, they're harder to pick up, and they're more effort to ride and maneuver off-road, especially if you're not the biggest, strongest guy. For me, the cons outweighed the pros and I found myself riding less as a result. That's when I decided to downsize. The next question I get asked is, do I miss the power? My answer is yes and no. I miss the power and the acceleration of a big bike, but really, you can only use that power in certain circumstances. On the open road, power sliding out of fast flowing dirt corners and covering big distances at higher speeds in the outback. In reality, if you ask yourself what you enjoy most about adventure riding, like me, it's probably not those things. Yes, we have to do transport sections and some long, boring freeway or highway miles. But as you can see here, a small bike can do it easily. Maybe just at a more relaxed and legal pace. Sure, when I spent two weeks touring the Outback, I could have gone faster between towns on a bigger bike, but I wouldn't have enjoyed crossing the Simpson Desert on one. My little bike did that with ease. So yes, you might initially miss that power, but you very quickly get over that and enjoy all the other benefits. Next time you are out on your big adventure bike, take note of how often you are using all that power. Take a note of your average trail speed. I did that while riding my Africa Twin and I was surprised. Sure there was a lot of wheel spin and acceleration, but the average speed was less than I imagined. As you can see here, smaller bikes can do this average speed easily, if not easier than big bikes, especially over rough terrain. One area where the big bikes usually outperform smaller bikes is on the highway. This is where all that power and size makes things easier especially when you're all loaded up. This is the main situation where you'll notice the difference between the big bike and a smaller bike. Now it's going to be up to you if you can live with this difference. If you can live with a little bit less power on the freeway, then you'll be able to live with a small bike and enjoy all the benefits. The last question I get is, can you carry everything on a smaller bike? The answer is yes, but you may have to pack smarter. Big bikes are larger and can carry a load more easily as the weight of the luggage is a smaller percentage of the bike. You don't feel it as much as you do on a smaller bike. So pack smarter, use lighter gear and luggage, and you'll be just as happy when you get to the campsite as your friends fully loaded up with everything on their bigger bikes. So are you ready to downsize or are you still thinking about it? Leave a comment below and let us know why or what you're thinking about. Either way, we don't mind. Just get out there and enjoy your adventure bike. 
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.